So hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today we'll be talking about the data versioning concept using DVC. DVC is a most frequently used tool for data versioning in the market. So DVC stands for data version control. DVC also does the model versioning. So that we'll talk in next videos, but uh, today we'll focus on like uh, concept level, how to do data versioning using DVC. Okay. So uh, let's say start. So basically, uh, again, uh, as we are uh, trying to understand like uh, data versioning, so we'll start from the database. So we have a database and then uh, what we do basically, uh, we uh, take a sample. So basically in machine learning, what you do, you uh, have a data warehouse and from there, there you extract a sample of data. Okay, and then you start uh, writing uh, your uh, training code and then you generate a model, right? So that's the basic flow. So you have a data now here and with that data, you'll apply certain transformations and after transformations are done, then uh, you created a final version of data. We name it like uh, version 1.0. Okay, and then with that version 1.0, we want to create certain experimentations and on top of that, it will finally generate the model. Okay, we need it, we name it model version 1.0. Okay, so now this uh, basic uh, life cycle uh, steps are done and we uh, achieved one model version 1.0. Okay, so now uh, you will, so normally what you do, you check the model performance like uh, version 1.0, how model is performing. Okay, and suppose you're not happy with the uh, model performance. So what you will do as a next step, step you will start doing doing some fine tuning so in fine tuning steps what you do basically you apply certain uh, hyperparameters you change certain hyperparameters or you apply certain more transformation on data label and that's where you get a newer version of data as well as uh, newer experimentations okay here we'll uh, focus more on uh, newer version of data okay experimentation we'll talk later so now uh, so before we go uh, with the fine tuning and we get newer version of data, so the uh, expectation is like min, uh, version this uh, current version of data, okay? You uh, version it so that if you want to reproduce it, you can easily reproduce it. And I have explained reproducibility in my previous video. If you have some doubt, please watch that one. Okay, so for that uh, to version this uh, data.csv, what we need to do basically, we need to initialize the git in your current working directory and then we also need to initialize DVC, okay? So for that you can do git in it and dvc in it okay and guys make sure first you need to initialize uh, git and later you need to initialize dvc if you change the sequence it will not work it will throw an error okay because for to work dvc you need to have some um, version control mechanism uh, in place version control management okay source control management basically okay so that's why like we have in initialized and to use dvc you also need to install dvc so you can uh, use pip install dvc so in the same uh, environment uh, conda environment or uh, python environment you can install dvc so that all the commands of dvc will be available to you okay so now we have done that one and then uh, let me explain like how do you dvc works basically so dvc is like uh, exactly similar to uh, git but in git uh, the challenges we face basically uh, like uh, uh, we cannot, I mean, we, while storing a very large data files, okay, or large uh, files, which has a huge amount of data in GBs or maybe even more. Okay, so that's where uh, we face some challenges uh, with uh, Git and that's where like uh, DVC comes uh, to our rescue. And what it does basically, uh, it uh, integrate a backend database uh, with the working directory. Okay, and that's where you it stores the actual files. And then with, with respect to each files, it generates certain metadata. So which are nothing but the pointers basically. So those pointers helps us to understand, okay, uh, which... Uh, Version, which version of data contains what kind of data. Okay, so let's understand that. So with this uh, architecture diagram, it will help. Uh, it will be more easy to understand. Okay, so um, that's where like uh, in uh, we have a backend DB. It could be a cloud storage or it could be on-premises one. We have integrated. To integrate that one, you can run the command from your working directory like dvc remote add hyphen d and put a remote name and then a remote path URL. If it is GS bucket, you can uh, name it GS path URL or if it is a AWS S3 bucket or any other uh, uh, backend storage, you can provide. Okay, you can integrate that one. Okay, and then you need to have a git. Basically, you have any any slide ticket. As I said, all the pointers, reference files, or metadata files will be stored in Git. Those are the smaller files. Okay, so we have a Git here. Okay, 
and now so not suppose we already have a data dot csv which is version one uh, of our data okay and then what we can do we can uh, apply some dvc add commands so like dvc add data dot csv and then uh, uh, next uh, dvc push so it will push the da uh, data dot csv with version one in your uh, integrated database okay and the moment you up, uh, run dvc add dot uh, add data.csv it generates some uh, pointers file so these are nothing but like data.csv.dvc okay with that it generates so as i said all those pointers file will be stored in the git so that's where you need to um, run all those git related commands as the next so here i have listed basically so what you need to do git add hyphen all so it will add everything into the git and then further git commit and then tag and push all these commands you can run so all those um, um, like uh, metadata related or pointers related files will be stored here okay so let me explain these one by one so the moment you do DV dvc in it so it, um, it creates a dot dvc and slash config so config file so config file holds the reference of all those like for example what is your backend db so remote name is, it will be storing okay and then the moment you run dvc add data.csv so this data will be pushed here in backend db and it will generate a data.csv.dvc a reference file which will hold the reference like where uh, this data has gone and which version it is basically okay so that and then git ignore you already know so git ignore and dvc ignore basically will add like uh, which files you don't want to push in the uh, like git so basically uh, it will uh, so the moment you run these command dvc add so it generate this dvc ignore also and it will whole like okay you don't want to oppose data.csv into the gate because if we have already maintained it into the backend server backend database okay so that that's how like these all files are significant and we, these are a smaller file just a metadata related file and we stored in the gate okay and they have reference to this remote db where your actual data is uh, stored okay so now this first version is maintained and now what is next so as i said we want to do some fine tuning here so like we uh, applied some fine tuning we did some data transformation and we got a uh, next set of data we name it like data version 2.0 okay and now we want to again uh, maintain this what we will do we will simply of course with respect to data version 2.0 we will generate a model okay but uh, before if you further want to go ahead with hyperparameter tuning or any fine tuning you want to maintain again this so that's in future you want to you can easily reproduce this okay so what we will do simply again we will do dvc add and data.csv because data.csv is modified you have applied certain transformers in the same csv and it is modified and now it is it need to be stored maintained okay so that's why we run data uh, add dot data add sorry dvc add data.csv plus dvc post the, the sequential command you need to run and then your data.csv will be maintained here so actual file will become and sit here into the backend db okay and then simultaneously it the moment you run this it if you run git status then it will so okay your data.csv.dvc file is modified because it has generated the newer version and that's where you need to run these commands again to uh, maintain those reference file into the git so again uh, what you will do uh, we have um, created this uh, so we ran the same commands as we previously with different tag because tag will all tag will hold the reference of okay the we have created a second version you can give version 2.0 or you can do version 1.2 whatever naming convention you want to follow okay and then git push so git push it will push all the uh, referenced file to the git and then uh, git push hyphen hyphen tag so hyphen uh, git push hyphen hyphen tag will all uh, you need to do because you need to maintain that tag information to the git so that next time if you want to uh, pull a particular version of data so first you need to pull a particular reference file from that git and then the moment your reference files are uh, pulled uh, back in your working directly then you can uh, easily refresh that uh, particular tagged uh, version data from the backend storage okay so how you can do so now uh, at this current uh, step we have already maintained version 2.0 uh, into the backend db version maintained okay now what we need to do we want to pull so suppose ver model version v.2.0 is not giving you uh, enough performance rather version 1.0 0 was uh, uh, optimal one okay it, it has better performance than version 2.0 so you want to reproduce this version 1.0 to reproduce version 1.0 you need the corresponding data which data you have used for that okay so that for that you can easily do git pull from this uh, git okay so for that you can run git pull and we want to uh, uh, 
pull the version 1.0 that's where you need to define the tag information here because we have pushed the tag information also in uh, git okay you can simply run git pull so you need to run in small letters git pull version 1.0 and the moment you pull that on uh, you run this command so now in your current working directory you will have the reference of the you know, previous version of data okay and then you can easily reproduce the uh, further model with the experimentation so in a nutshell this is how your dvc works basically at a concept level for maintaining the data okay and in immediate next video we are going to discuss about like this in a practical okay so i will i start with one uh, sample data and then we'll uh, create multiple experiments and then see like uh, uh, how we can reproduce the uh, previous experiment with the help of uh, the previous uh, version data okay so that's all for today's i hope you enjoyed the concept understanding of dvc with respect to data versioning i'm saying data versioning because dvc also helps in model versioning which also uh, videos will come in a, a later stages okay so i hope you enjoyed and that's all for today and uh, thank you for watching and if you're loving then please don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon so that you can you will be notified for all the upcoming videos and uh, please uh, don't forget to uh, share this with ml community with your colleagues and that's it thank you very much